This is a list of characters from the manga and anime series Astro Boy created by Osamu Tezuka. Topic: <laughs> Major characters. Astro Boy, Tetsuya Natomu, Mighty Atom. In Japanese versions, the robot boy fashioned after Tobio Tenma, Asta Boynton III in the B.W. American translation by his father, the head of the Ministry of Science in the year 2000. Aside from possessing the strength of 100,000 horsepower, later 1 million, though these numbers often fluctuate between stories and the kind personality of a child, he has what are called his seven amazing powers: jet-powered flight, multilingualism, analytical skills, headlight eyes, super sensitive hearing, hidden weapons in his back, and the ability to tell if a person is good or evil. In addition, he has a built-in Geiger counter and shortwave communication system. Uran, Uran, Zoran, Astro Girl, Astro's robotic sister with a shown adoration towards Astro, she is a superhuman robot with a naive, tomboyish personality. Constructed by Dr. Ochinomizu as a gift for Astro, Uran is an extremely mischievous little girl who constantly lands her older brother in trouble. While lacking Atom's weaponry and propulsion systems, she is extremely powerful 50, horsepower and regularly accompanies him on various missions or attempts to. Like Atom, she is fully capable of experiencing human emotions, though being somewhat less mature. Uran first appeared in episode 35 Uran under the misleading name Astro Girl due to the fact it sounds more like a female dubbed version of the protagonist. In the manga she has always been known as Uran, although in the 2000 anime series she was renamed Zoran, despite this being a male name. In the 2003 anime and Naoki Urasawa's Pluto Uran has the ability to communicate with animals. In the Canadian version of Astro Boy, she is dubbed as Sarah. Her name is based on uranium, a metal used to power nuclear reactors. Dr. Umataro Tenma, Tenma Hakase. Dr. Asta Boyton II. The former head of the Ministry of Science. Ever since his son died, he decided to build a robot boy who looks like his son. But when he discovered that Astro could not grow, he sold his son to the circus. He appears only in Episodes 1, Birth of Astro Boy, and 97, Mystery of the Metal Men. Hoshi Tenma, Tenma Hoshi, deceased wife of Dr. Umataro Tenma and mother of Tobio Tenma. Her facial features are taken from Michi, a superhuman being created from synthetic cells in the manga version of Metropolis. This is quite appropriate as Michi was something of a spiritual predecessor to Atom and in a way could even be seen as his mother. Hoshi was the model for Atom's robotic mother as seen in Volumes 7 and 8 of the Tetsuan Atom manga. Professor Ochinomizu, Ochinomizu Hakase, Dr. Pachydermis J. Elephun, the present head of the Institute of Science and a fearless campaigner for robotic rights. Kind, patient and good-natured, he serves as a mentor for both Atom and Uran, and would willingly give his life for either. Somewhat eccentric by nature, he tends to be excitable when faced by a scientific mystery, particularly when his opinions are questioned by his scientific colleagues. He first appeared in Episode 1, Birth of Atom, where he rescued Atom from Hameg's circus. Police Inspector Tawashi, Tawashi Kebu, translated as 
Inspector Hairbrush, known in English as Inspector Gumshoe, a highly placed police detective with an innate distrust of androids and robots, the reason to this is never explained in detail. Due to his opposition to Tokyo's robotic population, Tawashi has a long standing feud with both Dr. Ochinomizu and Higeoyaji, and frequently engages in volatile arguments with them. While arrogant, cantankerous and, in some cases, downright rude, he eventually comes to respect Atom's courage and abilities, even calling for his assistance in particularly difficult cases. Partnered with Chief Nakamura, he first appeared in Episode 2, Franken. Police Inspector Nakamura Nakamura Kebu, Chief McClaw the chief of the police and the partner of Inspector Tawashi. Played mainly for comic relief, he was normally portrayed as fat, dim-witted and gullible, a stereotype, clueless flatfoot, of the period. Nonetheless, he instantly recognized Atom's good side and frequently stood up for Atom against his bullying partner, as seen in episode 23. In the 1960s English translations, he has an Irish accent. He first appeared in episode 2, Franken. Shunsaku Ban, Ban Shunsaku, Albert Duncan, aka Victor, later Percival, pompous in the first series, Mr. Mustachio, Higeoyaji, Daddy Walrus. In the second, originally introduced as a private investigator in the first American dub, Higeoyaji played several roles in the Japanese strip series, including school teacher and martial arts expert. Like Dr. Ochinomizu, Higeoyaji serves as a surrogate father for Atom and Uran, providing guidance and advice when necessary. While gruff and comically short-tempered, he harbors a deep admiration for Atom, seeing him as the son he never had, and even stands up to the formidable Inspector Gumshoe in the boy's defense. Higeoyaji first appeared in Episode 7, Denku. In both the original comic strip and the second 1980s Japanese series, he was Atom's school teacher in Naroki Urasawa's Pluto he has apparently been promoted to principal, and his nickname was Mr. Mustachio or Daddy Walrus. In the 2003 remake, he is notably absent from Atom's school, working full-time as a private eye and is also the uncle of Ochinomizu's assistant, Yuko Kisaragi. Mama and Papa, Astro's robotic parents. Mama is depicted as an idealized 1960s housewife, and she is sweet, kind and nurturing. She is entirely trusting of her son's impeccable nature, knows he would never deliberately lie or harm another being, as seen in episode 20. In contrast, Papa is portrayed as something of a well-meaning blowhard, often jumping to conclusions and losing his temper over minor incidents. They first appeared in episode 2, Franken. In the Sankei newspaper Atom manga series, it is revealed that Mama was modified to resemble Dr. Tenma's wife who had died of a heart condition shortly after Astro was sold to the circus. Cobalt Koburuto. Jetto. Later replaced by a character named Atlas in the 1980 anime version Atom's robotic brother. His origins differ in the continuities of the manga and anime versions. In the manga, he is an inferior copy of Astro created as a replacement by Professor Ochinomizu when he was missing and presumed scrap. In the anime version, he was a defective prototype of Atom built by Dr. Tenma, then sealed within the Ministry of Science archivist and later released. 
Cobalt has abilities comparable to his brother's, but lacks Astro's intelligence and common sense. Clumsy, accident-prone and gullible, he is a constant source of trouble for Atom's family and everyone else who crosses his path. Despite these problems, Cobalt is often shown to be extremely kind-hearted and loyal. In addition to the abilities that were copied from Atom, he also shares a kind of telepathic link with his brother that gives him the ability to sense when Atom is in danger and home in his location. He originally died a heroic death at the conclusion of the Maduro Swamp story arc in the Shonen Magazine serial version of the manga, but Tezuka later changed his mind and rewrote the ending for the paperback version so that he survived. He first appeared in episode 84, Cobalt. His name is based on Cobalt-60, an isotope used in nuclear reactors. Physically, he resembles Astro, but is taller and thinner. Chi Tan, Astro Boy's baby brother created by Dr. O'Shea and seen primarily in the last season of the anime. Created primarily as a comic relief character. Main characteristic is his loud bawling, which can shatter things. Believed to have been inspired by the character Sweepy from the Popeye cartoons, Chitan's name is a pun on titanium, as in Japan, it is cute to replace CH sounds with T sounds, thus making Chitan's name pronounced similarly to Titan in Japanese. Kenichi, Atom's classmate. He's the class president and also the smartest. He first appeared in the manga episode, Franken, but he does not appear in the 1963 TV show. The Blue Knight, also known as Blue Bon. He is known to be a hero among many robots for helping those who were treated poorly by humans. As he wears a blue suit armor, people call him the Blue Knight, out of fear. He also wields a sword that emits an aura that affects certain robots. During a fight against him, Atom realizes that the sword does not affect robots that tend to revolt against human however those that do not will feel tired as he did. He only appeared in one manga episode, The Blue Knight. In the 2003 anime series his character was expanded and was given a background story line. During his early days as normal robot, he used to work at a robot circus, repairing broken robots who lost in robot fighting matches. When he saw how badly robots were treated in the circus, he decided to take action by helping them all escape, however, he was caught by his human owner, who happens to be the ringmaster of the robot circus and was thrown out into space. He was later found by Shadow who rebuilt him into the Blue Knight. He is portrayed as a crusader for robots and tends to be cold and cruel towards humans, especially those who mistreated robots. He does not listen to anything they say and does not care if he hurts any one of them whether they are innocent or not because of all the anger that he had in the past. Al Mechanic, a mechanic who dislikes beautiful things. He was last seen crying after Astro Boy forgives him. This character appeared only in episode 37, Astro Boy Goes to School. However, this actor appeared in other episodes in other roles, but always as a villain. Ali Baba, a leader of an Arabian bandit gang. Astro Boy saw Ali Baba when he had less energy. Ali Baba gave Astro Boy his horse's energy and Astro Boy was able to walk. When Ali Baba and Clyde Snidely were about to steal all of Dr. Snow's inventions, Astro Boy stopped them and brought the two delinquents to justice. 
Ali Baba and his gang appeared only in Episode 4, The Sphinx. In the manga, they were a band of thieves in Mexico. Apo Gorilla is the English language version's name for Tezuka's actor named Rommel. In this role, he portrays a head gangster who plans to get rid of Zuti. He's last seen giving up after he fails to get rid of Zuti. Beetle and Foxy, two hunters who are willing to hunt down a lot of elephants. After Maxi is defeated, these two are apprehended by the elephants and were never seen again. Black Lux, Sharky Dirk, a man who really hates robots. He has his own gang to hunt down all the robots, until Astro Boy brought back his mom. Sharky reunited with his mom and vowed never to destroy any more robots. He appears only in episode 13, Deep Freeze. In the manga, his name was Black Lux. Tobias Toggle, a man who threatens the Beltway after his idea of flying cars was rejected. He appeared only in episode 76, The Mad Beltway. Captain Bloper, a whaler who is interfering with Astro Boy's secret mission. He is last seen blown out of the TV set when he was defeated by Astro Boy. Bloper appeared only in episode 41, Deadline Toview of episode 41 for details. Captain Daring, an astronaut who dislikes following Astro Boy's orders because he is a robot. He was last seen killed by the Martians. He appeared only in Episode 3, Expedition to Mars. In the manga, his name is Captain Ketchup. Captain Olga, commander of a navy who stole a part for a spaceship. Her assistant is Professor Schlecken. She appeared only in Episode 46, The Phantom Spaceship. In the manga, her name is Colonel Vega and her assistant is Professor Popo. In the manga, Vega kills her assistant after a failure, while at the end of the manga story, she was killed in an explosion of her man-made island. Clyde Snidely, an archaeologist. He has a gang of Arabian bandits and plans to steal Dr. I. C. Snow's secret plans, until Astro Boy brought him and his gang to justice. He appears only in Episode 4, The Sphinx. In the manga, he appears as Monsieur Ampere, the man who wanted Dr. Snow's inventions. Commander Sabloski, commander of the subterranean tank. He appeared only in the manga episode, Subterranean Tank. Corny J. Sneer, co-leader of a gang who not only kidnapped Mo Mole, but Astro Boy, Dr. Elephun and Iki Ichabod. He and his gang were last seen tied up by Iki Ichabod off-screen. Sneer appeared only in episode 42, Island of Mystery. Dictator Armud, an evil dictator of Halava. He was last seen chased out of Halava by Astro Boy. He appeared only in episode 101, Dangerous Mission. Dr. Fula, Professor IQ. Plenty, a scientist who invented the wacky machine, causing all machines to go out of control. Episode 28, The Wacky Machine. Although the name IQ. Plenty was used instead of Fuller only in the English language version of this episode, this character appears in several episodes and manga stories. Dr. Gabritol, a scientist who invented the deadly punch card. His arch rival is Dr. Newton. He was last seen crying when he felt guilty that his punch card made the rocket factory gone mad. He appeared only in episode 86, The Magic Punch Card. Dr. Goldthumb, a scientist who told Future to steal the gold from a rocket. 
He appeared only in episode 86, The Great Rocket Robbery. Dr. Gray Dorian, sometimes mistaken for Judas Pater, but although their stories are similar, these are very different characters. Dr. Gray Dorian's story is first told in one of Asamu Tezuka's other than Astro Boy manga in a series called Lion Books, but it was adapted to Astro Boy's world in the 1963 anime. Judas Pater's story was told only in the Astro Boy manga. Dr. Heal, a greedy scientist who builds an undersea city and kidnaps the Dolphin King's son, Finney. He only appeared in episode 75, Dolphins in Distress. Dr. Junkovich, a Russian scientist who works with Maria. He was last seen killed with Maria while a machine exploded. This episode was excluded from the English language version, but in the Japanese version, it was number 32. The character's appearance is the same in the anime as it is in the manga. He also makes a cameo appearance in Metropolis. Dr. Ram, Don Tay, a scientist who hates civilization. He invented Fernal the fire robot to get revenge on a village in Mexico. When he realized that destroying civilization was wrong, Dante no longer became a bad guy and Astro Boy destroyed Fernal. He appeared only in episode 26, Dante's Infernal Machine. In the manga, his name is Dr. Ram. Dr. Rasburton, a scientist who lives at Egypt. He invented Cleopatra to fool them that she's brought back to life. He was last seen killed along with Cleopatra in a cave in. Dr. Rasburton appeared only in episodes 44, Cleopatra Heart, and 45, Return of Cleopatra. In the manga, his name is Dr. Barabari. Dr. Saubelli, a scientist who held Astro Boy and Dr. Elephun as prisoners. He was last seen bidding farewell to Astro Boy after he saved his home from evil aliens. He appeared only in episode 103, Prisoners in Space. Dr. Tempo, a scientist who is extremely jealous of Dr. Elephun and invented a time gun. He appeared only in episode 77, The Terrible Time Gun. Dr. Time, a scientist from the 23rd century. He wanted to go back to time to get a cave boy and a young dinosaur, causing a brontosaurus to accidentally go to the future and get revenge. When Dr. Time brought back the dinosaur and the cave boy, and Astro Boy brought back the Brontosaurus to its own time, Dr. Time's no longer a villain. He appears only in episode 18, The Time Machine. In the manga, he and his son did not appear in The Time Machine. Dr. Zulu, Doc Cheddar, a scientist who plans to steal the artificial fireball from Dr. Hart and marry King Phoebo's daughter Rosanna. He was last seen apprehended by his own henchmen. He appeared only in episode 54, The Man-Made Iceberg. Dr. Temp, a scientist who encounters Astro Boy. He appeared only in episode 60, The Clock Tower Mystery. Eeny Miney, one of the fencers who sell stolen goods taken by space pirates from ships. His big mouth partner is Meeny Miney. He was last seen crying while Astro Boy heads for the hotel to find Gorilla Gruesome. This character appeared only in episode 21, Satellite R45. Fur ZZZ, Agent 3Z, a criminal who happens to be a president's brother. He wanted to assassinate all supreme scientists and presidents who would dare get in his way. 
He did not mean to hurt his brother, but someday, when the president makes a full recovery, he will forgive Agent 3Z. Agent 3Z appears only in episode 16, Agent 3Z. In the manga, his name was Fura ZZZ. Professor Boo Boo, a man who was after the head of the bright robot. He appeared only in episode 30, The Super Duper Robot. In the manga, he is named Gaston. Gelatin the genie, a genie that exists only in the fairy tale told as a preface to the actual Astro Boy story. Just when he was about to eat a fisherman, the fisherman was too wise for Gelatin. In order to prove that Geliton's a genie, the fisherman tells him to drink up the entire ocean. Geliton was last seen too exhausted and too full to eat the fisherman. Luckily, the fisherman got his fish and lived to tell about. Just as the fisherman defeated the genie, Astro Boy would defeat the giant robot Galen see below. Gelatin appears only in episode 19, The Cosmic Giant. Gorilla Gruesome, one of the space pirates who attacked other ships and steal stuff from them. The space pirate's leader is Mr. Trickham, the ringmaster. Gorilla Gruesome was last seen taken cared by Astro Boy and Captain Crony Puss. He appeared only in episode 21, Satellite R45. Hido, Dr. Magico, a scientist who operates and owns Hullabaloo Land. He treats his robots except Baron von Hoodwink like trash, until Astro Boy defeats both Hoodwink and Firesnout, and Dr. Magico's robots turned against him. He appears only in episode 9, Hullabaloo Land. In the manga, his name is Hido. Horace Hooligan, a leader of an anti-robot organization who encountered Astro Boy. He hunts down robots about of his mother's death. He was last seen as a teenager and was happily reunited with his robot mom, giving up his evil ways. He appeared only in episode 68, The Hooligan Who Done It. He is also named Black Looks in the manga, Black Looks. I am Greedy, an insurance person who visited Klaus to tell him to make more deadlier toys. He appeared only in episode 58, The Devil Doll. Jacques, a teenager who does not appear to be a bad guy and escaped from jail. He appeared only in the manga episode, The 100 Million Year Old Crime. Kanbei Yamano, a leader of a crime organization. His daughter is one of the henchmen. Three are unmasked while the other man's mask is unrevealed and another is a robot. They were last seen arrested by Mustachio. They appeared only in the manga episode, Six Men and a Robot. King El Jupi, King of Antilia. He rules Antilia with an iron fist. After El Jupi and men returned to their normal selves, they found that were actually brainwashed by the robot bees. He was last seen saying goodbye to Astro Boy after he promised to be a better and nicer king of a new kingdom because Antilia was destroyed for good. He appeared only in episode 53, Dogma Palace. King Horrid, a villain who rules with an iron fist and happens to be a robot. He appeared only in episode 80, Horrible King Horrid. Kinsakaku, Elil Belil, a film producer who stole the artificial sun. The Islanders, along with Jekyll and Hyde, are his henchmen. His plan was going on success, until Astro Boy destroyed the artificial sun. He appears only in episode 12, The Artificial Sun. He appears again as Plushy Posher in episode 22, Sea Serpent Island. 
In the manga, his name is Kinsakaku, who also appears in the manga episode of Cross Island. Lenny, leader of the five teenage delinquents who escaped from jail with Louis, Remy, Pierre and Jacques. He appeared only in the manga episode, The 100 Million Year Old Crime. Long John Floater, a crazy king of Vikings who responsible for the rampage. His ship is the SS Lolly. He was last seen arrested by the space police. He appeared only in episode 57, The Viking King aka Vikings. Louis, a freckle-faced teenager who escaped from jail. He appeared only in the manga episode, The 100 Million Year Old Crime. Maria, a Russian dictator who leads a gang of cyborgs who acts like dogs. She was last seen killed by a giant cyclops while declaring the moon. Her mother was Margot Poco. She appeared only in the manga episode, The Hot Dog Core. Meany Miney, one of the space pirates who does not appear to be a bad guy. To his partner Eni, he's a big mouth tattletail. He was last seen locked in a box so no one would hear a word. But Astro Boy heard what Meany said and went to the hotel. He appears only in episode 21, R45. Mephitso, Patch, a scientist with an eye patch who invented the 47 robot centipede Ganger. He appears in episode 15, Ganger. In the manga, his name is Mephitso. He appears again in episode 95, General Astro. Monk, a gangster who is in charge of Colosso. He was last seen crying while Colosso with a robot brain heads to space. He appeared only in episode 2, Colosso. Mr. Ding Dong, a manager of a robot fighter, K.O. Clunker. He used Clunker to destroy both Astro Boy and Astro Girl. Mr. Ding Dong was last seen defeated by both Astro Boy and Uran after they destroyed his robots. He appeared only in episode 25, The Strange Birthday Present. Mr. Vile, a man who killed Angelica's parents. He appeared only in episode 85, Angel of the Alps. Mr. X, a criminal who invented the poisonous houseflies and all five of the bow robots. He's the leader of the X gang. Mr. X and his gang were defeated by Astro Boy to stop the deadly flies. Mr. X appears only in episode 23, The Deadly Flies. Nicotine, a leader of a gang who kidnapped Astro Boy, Dr. Elephun, and Professor Icky Ichabod. In order to find a ship, he used Ichabod to find three statues crying, seven statues roaring, and nine statues laughing. Nicotine was last seen learning his lesson after the spaceship exploded. Nicotine appeared only in episode 42, Island of Mystery. No Uno, J.C. 10%, a magician and inventor of both Hocupocus and Abracadabra. He and Hocuspocus are responsible for the stolen art paintings and Abracadabra was framed. 10% was last seen arrested by the police while Hocuspocus and Abracadabra performed yet the greatest show on Earth. He appeared only in episode 33, The Three Magicians. In the manga, his name is Mr. No Uno. Novocaine, a scientist who leads a gang of banned citizens and worship the god Baal. Novocaine and his gang kidnapped Professor Natsu in order to make the elixir of life. Novocaine was last seen getting the hiccups when he drank castorol oil. He appears only in episode 36, Elixir of Life. 
Pablo's, Professor Holstein, Ochinomizu's friend, who flunked out of Pencil University with Ochinomizu. Pablos asks Ochinomizu to come to Golgonia, but secretly requests that Ochinomizu does not come via a hidden invisible ink message. He appeared only in episode 10, Spirit Machine. Pierre, a short pompous teenager who escaped from jail. He appeared only in the manga episode, The 100 Million Year Old Crime. Premier Hitlini, Chancellor Rudolf Hatter, the dictator of Golgonia, Shangri-La in the English anime. In the English anime, his enemies called him Mad Hatter because of his anger. When he was about to be split in two by Pablo's ghost machine, the professor destroyed the machine, killing Hitlini. Hitlini only appears in episode 10, Spirit Machine. In the manga, his name was Hitlini. This character was based on Adolf Hitler. Prince Upley, a villain who happens to be the inventor of Ditto. He kidnapped Mr. Pompous and Ditto while Astro Boy was searching for them. Astro Boy stopped Prince Upley by disguising as Ditto and unmasking the villain who looks just like Ditto. Prince Upley appeared only in episode 43, Ditto. In the manga, his name is Dead Cross. Professors Pim, Pom, and Pim, a trio of professors who are after Bemo. They appeared only in episode 62, Attack from Space. Ray Sergum, a scientist who is behind the vampire mystery. He appeared only in episode 55, Vampire Veil. Vale. In the manga, his name is Dr. Pedden. Remy, a brown-eyed teenager who escaped from jail. He appeared only in the manga episode, The 100 Million Year Old Crime. Reno, a young teenager who aired on Astro Boy 2003 episode 22, Robot Circus. Reno was raised by robots whom were headed for the scrap heap when they heard crying noises, and found Reno, abandoned, and with no hope of survival on his own, the gang adopted him, raised him and reopened their circus to raise money for food and shelter. Eventually, Reno was discovered and was taken away from them, but all was not bad. In the end, Dr. Oshe became his legal guardian and took custody of him. Astro Atom, and Reno were therefore brothers and the best of friends. With Astro by his side, Reno's life never had a dull moment. Rex, a snow lion. This lion happens to be Snow. He has the ability to drain energy. He was last seen killed by Astro Boy. He appeared only in episode 52, Snow Lion. In the manga, he appears as a leopard named Lupe. Sam Caesar, a scientist who rules a new Roman Empire. When Dr. Elephun was about to escape, Brutus, invented by Sam Caesar, caught one of the robots carrying bags full of treasure. Sam Caesar sent Dr. Ochinomizu to be fed by a fire-breathing robot lion. Astro Boy rescued Dr. Ochinomizu and defeated Sam's entire army. He was last seen dead while Dr. Ella Fun and Astro Boy escaped from the cave in. Sam Caesar appears only in episode 40, The Abominable Snowman. Secret Agent ZM4 a spy whose secret identity is Stick Him. He was last seen turned into a bug by Gallon. He appeared only in episode 19, The Cosmic Giant. Sharky, an assassin hired by Wily to get rid of Astro Boy. He was last seen beaten up by Mr. Pompous. Sharky appeared only in episode 49 to 3D TV. In the manga, his name is Killer 0000. 
Shorty a gullible gangster who appeared only in the manga episode, Subterranean Tank. Skunk Kusai, fearless Fred Fenk, a criminal who used to be in jail. He used Zero the Invisible Robot for dastardly crimes and to release his old friends. Just when he was about to escape, while Astro Boy defeats his gang, Mr. Pompous stops him in his tracks and send him to justice by throwing him against the wall, beating him up in a mailbag, spraying him with a garden hose, tickling him and jumping up and down a plank with Fenk on the right side and sends him flying to the police. He was last seen struggling while he was wearing the Sipo scope. He appears only in Episode 7, Zero the Invisible Robot. In the manga, his name is Skunk Kusai and he also appeared in Attack of the Astro Balloons. In Japan, he appears in various episodes of Astro Boy. He has also been seen in the other animated series that have appeared, but, as time passed, his gang seemed to get smaller most likely because he was using robots more, and, eventually, his last appearance was in the 2003 Astro Boy series. Space Crab, a space crab from the planet Jip Jip. Trickham traded a pig for a space crab. The space crab was last seen destroyed by Tiny the Dinosaur. It appeared only in episode 47, The Gigantic Space Crab. Sultan, a sultan who built Pluto. He was last seen crying after Pluto was killed by Bora. He appeared only in the manga episode, The World's Greatest Robot. In the manga his name is Chochi Chochi Ababa 3, while in Naoki Urasawa's Pluto he is recast as Persian dictator Darius XIV. Tex Tamali, a cowboy who races against Tommy Speed. He was last seen wearing an Indian's hat after Tommy Speed won the race. He appeared only in episode 8, The Silver Comet. The dinosaurs, if you think that the dinosaurs from episode 34 are bad, wait until you hear from these guys in episode 59, Dinosaur Dilemma. The Snow Wizard, a wizard from a distant planet who wants to take over the world with snow. He was last seen melted after defeated by Mr. Pompous. He appeared only in episode 52, Snow Lion. The Talking Dinosaurs, Truth says that dinosaurs are extinct, but not these guys. They spit venom on their victims and make them their slaves. All of these lizards were last seen killed after Astro Boy destroyed their only robot. They appeared only in Episode 34, The Beast from Twenty Fathoms, the lost episode. Toxor, a mist man. He got inside one of the astronaut's body, controlling him. The other mist men went to the other eight bodies, causing every person to go super insane. Toxor and the mist men were last seen frozen by Astro Boy and Dr. Elephant's freeze machine. Toxor and the mist men appear only in episode 20, Toxor, the mist man. In the manga their origin is slightly different, being invisible creatures from Earth's upper atmosphere, rather than extraterrestrials. Kachitor, a circus ringmaster. He treated Astro Boy and the rest of the robots like trash. After he heard that all robots are free, he became angry and lost Astro Boy to Dr. Elefun, which caused him to cry in defeat. He first appears in Episode 1, Birth of Astro Boy. In the manga, his name was Hameg. His name sometimes changes to Trickham. Since then, he has appeared in every animated series of Astro Boy, even in the 2009 Astro Boy movie. Agupug, a gorilla-faced gangster who kidnapped Yatata and Gavilon. 
He appeared only in episode 48, The Great Space Horse. Villainous, a hunter who tried to kidnap and sell Luna Luna to a circus. He appeared only in episode 78, The Space Princess. Weasel, a thug who leads a group of uranium smugglers in a submarine disguised as a ship. He and his gang are last seen defeated by Astro Boy and were apprehended to the police. Weasel appeared only in episode 17, The Haunted Ship. Wily, a criminal hired by Dr. Snorkel to destroy the teleporting transmitter. Dr. Snorkel was ashamed of himself and decided to let Astro Boy and Mr. Pompous stop Wily and his gang. Wily and his men were last seen exhausted after Rokar taught them a lesson. Wily appeared only in episode 49 to 3D TV. In the manga, he is named Nada. He is not to be confused with Dr. Wily from Mega Man. Topic: Robots. Frankenstein, Colosso, a robot who resembles the Frankenstein monster. He used to be a dangerous robot, until Astro Boy turned him into a good guy. He only appears in episode 2, Colosso. In the manga, his name is Frankenstein. Sphinx, a half-lion, half-human robot. She was protecting Dr. Snow and his machines. Although, Astro Boy thought that the Sphinx was attacking him, along with Clyde Snidely and a gang of Arabian bandits, she was only trying to protect Dr. Snow from thieves. She only appears in Episode 4, The Sphinx. Pook, Bobo, Buck, a robot who can transform into any shape. He was invented by Dr. I. M. Sinister. Damaged in a fight with Astro Boy, his transformation mechanism malfunctioned leaving him in a part lion, part duck, part bear, part eagle, part frog, formed robot. He only appeared in episode 5, Cross Island. In the manga, his name is Pook. In the English dub of the 1980s anime, he is renamed as Buck. Electro, Zero, Denku, a robot who is invisible. He can be only seen when surrounded by polarized light. Fearless Fred Fenk used him as a slave and Zero went to break Fenk's friends out. When Astro Boy told him that breaking prisoners out is wrong, he painted Zero's legs to make him visible, but he does not want to be dirty and the half-invisible robot ran off. Zero was last seen destroyed by a time bomb at a theater. Zero was invented by Dr. Isaac Nutting. He only appeared in Episode 7, Zero, The Invisible Robot. In the manga, his name is Electro. He reappeared in the 1980s anime during Episode 12, The Light Ray Robot which is the Christmas episode of the series, where he was again placed in the unknowing servitude of Skunk. It should be interesting to note that he had lost the super strength that he possessed in the original 1960s anime. He dies in a fashion similar to the way he died in the 1960s anime, however, instead of getting blown up in a theater, he is destroyed by a weapon fired at him in the mountains, which amplifies the bomb that he was carrying. It should be noted that the North Star shines after he has died, suggesting that he has become an angel. Mitsuko, Twin Tails, Tommy Speed's sister. Her electronic brain is inside the Silver Comet. She only appeared in Episode 8, Silver Comet. In the manga, her name is Mitsuko. Princess Odette, Princess Lollipop, a robot swan who can turn back into her normal self when everyone's asleep. 
She ran away from Hullabaloo Land so she can get away from Dr. Magico and Baron von Hoodwink. After the two villains were defeated, Princess Lollipop returned to her swan self and flew off in the blue sky. She only appeared in Episode 9, Hullabaloo Land. In the manga, her name is Princess Odette. Saturn, Baron von Hoodwink, Dr. Magico's robot who kidnapped Princess Lollipop and punishes the other robots in the melting. Astro Boy rescued the princess and vanquished Baron Hoodwink and fires now. The robot dragon, all the robots turned against Dr. Magico. Baron Hoodwink only appeared in Episode 9, Hullabaloo Land. In the manga, his name is Saturn. He appears again as the robot wrestler Satano in episodes 81, Mystery at Amless Dam and 96, The Might Might from Ursa Minor. Galapago 13 A robot car who kidnapped Ochinomizu to take him to Shangri-La. It only appeared in episode 10, The Ghost Manufacturer Machine. Platina, a leader of a robot rebellion who turned against the Mad Hatter. He befriends Astro Boy and told him the whole story about Mad Hatter. Every human at Shangri-La were too afraid to go against Hatter. Platino and the robot rebellion were defeated by Hatter's army while Astro Boy heads for the lab. He was reduced to powder by Grotesque No. 1. He only appeared in episode 10, The Spirit Machine. In the manga, his name is Platinum. Grotech No. 1 A robot who was invented by Mortimer Blanca that was destroyed by Astro Boy, but not before he destroyed Platina. He only appeared in episode 10, The Ghost Machine. Chris Kinkle, although he may not be smart but he is kind. He met Margot Poco years ago. The diamond earrings are present for Chris for being kind. Margot Poco died due to the limited diet she had. Chris was last seen tucking in Rocco Gibraltar just when Rocco was about to get back to the ship. Chris only appeared in episode 11, Strange Voyage. In the manga, his name is Ivan. The Artificial Sun, a robot sun with octopus tentacles. Years ago, Dr. Ella Fun and a scientist Dr. Leopold invented the artificial sun for cold conditions on the planet Mars. After Dr. Leopold died, Dr. Ella Fun decided to reject the robot sun, but the it was stolen by Elia Belia for a science fiction movie and a threat to the entire Pacific Ocean expect Fire Pot Island. The sun was later destroyed by Astro Boy and Elia Belia was arrested. The artificial sun only appeared in episode 12, The Artificial Sun. Ladybug, a robot who looks like Sharky's deceased mom. Sharky blamed her death on the robots and decided to melt them or take them apart one by one. After a scientist rebuilt Sharky's mom, she and her son are reunited. She only appeared in episode 13, The Deep Freeze. Piloton, Professor Fruitcake's robot servant. He enjoys cooking and other stuff. He was last seen defeated by Astro Boy when he was about to head for the egg storage room. He only appeared in episode 14, One Million Mammoth Snails. Ganga, a robot centipede. It was disguised as 47 wrestling robots to hide Ganga's secret. It was built by Patch. After it caused havoc on a ship and in the ocean, Astro Boy destroyed Ganga and saved the passengers and the people who lived on islands. Ganga only appeared in episode 15, Ganga. In the manga, its name was Gadamu. 
In the 2003 remake, Gadam is not a robot at all, but rather a sophisticated electromagnet that Skunk Kusai's gang steal and use in a series of bank robberies to reshape gold bars from the vault into the form of a giant centipede which then burrows its way out. Garen, a giant cosmic robot who came from a faraway planet. He landed on Earth as a meteor, where Dr. Elephun and a team of scientists discovered him. He landed as a large meteor-shaped twisted pile of parts, Astro Boy and the scientists reconstructed him. During a thunderstorm, Garen revived. A corrupt scientist captured him and took him to a remote island in the Pacific Ocean, telling Garen to reconstruct the island in the image of his home planet, which Garen took to immediately. However, during his reconstruction of the island, he also began changing the atmosphere to match that of the planet, which turned out to be toxic to life on Earth. Astro managed to trick Garen to changing the gravitational pull of the island to match that of his planet to complete the effect, causing Garen to hurl himself into space his planet has a much lower gravitational pull than Earth. He was invented by Gelatin the genie. Pook acts as his heart and conscience, without Pook in his chest cavity, Garen is a mindless monster. Garen appeared in the manga story Astro vs. Garen. He is also the final boss of the Game Boy Advance game Astro Boy, Omega Factor. Captain Cronypus, a robot who is captain of Satellite R-45's Defense Army. When Dad told him that he really is a robot, Cronypus might lose his job when the secret is out. Even though he and Astro Boy took care of the space pirates, Cronypa's secret was still kept. He only appeared in episode 21, Satellite R-45 Bo, a robot who is five robots. There's small Bo, regular Bo, big Bo, bigger Bo and biggest Bo. The Bow Robots used to be bad guys, until Astro Boy defeated Mr. X and his gang. Now, the Bow Robots have a brand new way of life. They only appeared in Episode 23, The Deadly Flies. The Bomb Robots, they are the citizens of the Kingdom of the Sea who were built 100 years ago by a scientist. They would not trust a human on the surface of the ocean, until Astro Boy saved one robot who was about to explode and their king happens to be the scientist who created them. So now, they will be friends with the humans. All of the robot bomb citizens only appeared in episode 24, Kingdom of the Sea. In the manga, they do not appear as robots, but instead are like balloon animals. Muscle Iron Side, a robot from episode 25, The Strange Birthday Present. In the manga, he appeared as a robot from Germany named Shubei One Hash. Pete Pilotin, a robot who competed against Astro Girl but lost against her. He only appeared in episode 25, The Strange Birthday Present. In the manga, he appeared as a robot from Mongolia named Genghis Khan Barbecue. Bongo Bongo, a robot from the island of Pongping who competed against Astro Girl. He was last seen turned into bongo drums by Astro Girl. He only appeared in episode 25, The Strange Birthday Present. In the manga, he appeared as a robot from Hong Kong named Lee Tan. K.O. Klunker, a robot who compete against Astro Girl and lost to Astro Boy at the Robot Championship. He only appeared in episode 25, The Strange Birthday Present. In the manga, his name is Gamoran. 
Fernal, a robot who can melt everything in his sight, including a tournament referee. Invented by Dante to get rid of civilization. Astro Boy destroyed Fernal, and saved a village in Mexico by putting an ice bomb to stop the eruption from Mount Smokum. Fernal only appeared in episode 26, Dante's Infernal Machine. In the manga, his name is Atlas and he appeared again in the manga episode, Atlas Returns. Big Shot Cannon, a robot whose nose is a handgun and he's the man who is famous for Machine Day. He only appeared in episode 28, The Wacky Machine. In the manga, his name is Dr. Colt. He appears again in episode 73, The Robot Olympics. Piper, a robot who looks like a boy who blasts off to the moon. He taps and bounces just for the fun of it. He's also a very good time and space inventor. He's last seen happily reunited with his brother Zuti and his parents. Piper only appeared in episode 29, Memory Day. In the manga, his name is Jiro. Abracadabra, a robot magician who was framed by Mr. 10% and Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra puts on a great show for everyone, until Mr. 10% and Hocus Pocus threaten the police that they were going to steal art paintings from a museum. Abracadabra proved the evidence to everyone that he did not steal the paintings, only the work of Mr. 10% and his twin brother Hocus Pocus. While 10% was arrested, Hocus Pocus and Abracadabra puts on the greatest show on earth. Abracadabra only appeared in episode 33, The Three Magicians. In the manga, his name is Kino. Hocus Pocus, a robot magician who is Abracadabra's evil twin. Commanded by his master, J.C. 10%, he fooled the police and the world into saying that he's Abracadabra. Hocus Pocus stolen all the paintings at an art museum. Now Dr. Elephant gave Hocus Pocus a guilty conscience and brought back the paintings to the museum. While 10% was arrested, Hocus Pocus and Abracadabra puts on the greatest show on Earth. He only appeared in episode 33, The Three Magicians. In the manga, he has no name. Lala Palooza, a robot who goes to school with Astro Girls. She has the ability to shoot ink. She was last seen with Astro Boy, Astro Girl, Ms. Lisa and the robot principal watching fireworks. She only appeared in episode 37, Astro Goes to School and episode 60, Mystery at Clock Tower. Brutus, a robot who is command of Caesar's army. After Astro Boy told him that Caesar is unfair to the robots, he was last seen walking out of the city and out of the cave off-screen before a cave-in. Brutus only appeared in episode 40, The Abominable Snowman. Ditto, a robot president of Goshen. He was kidnapped by Prince Upley along with Mr. Pompous while Astro Boy searches for them. Astro Boy disguises as the robot president to catch Prince Upley red-handed. Prince Upley and Ditto looked like each other when the prince's mask was removed. Ditto only appeared in episode 43, Ditto. In the manga, his name is Rag. Nobby Nobody, a robot ambassador of Goshen. In the beginning, his half-bottom arrived at Astro Boy's house to let Astro Boy to come with him to meet Ditto. Nobby Nobody is the robot with the ability to split in half. He only appeared in episode 43, Ditto. In the manga, his name is Havway. 
Cleopatra, a robot created by Dr. Ratzburton to fool the Crimson Brotherhood and the entire country of Egypt that she was brought back to life by the god Isis. Cleopatra along with her inventor were killed by a cave-in after Dr. Ratzburton's plan failed. She only appeared in episodes 44, Cleopatra's Heart and 45, The Return of Cleopatra. Rabbi, a robot rabbit who has the ability to make lots of animal sounds. He helps Dr. Elephant to find Astro Boy. After bidding farewell to Jimbo, he's last seen riding with Astro Boy and Dr. Elephant. Rabbi only appeared in episode 51, Jimbo the Great. Maxi, a robot elephant who went on a blind rampage throughout Africa. He was last seen destroyed by Astro Boy and a group of real elephants. He only appeared in episode 51, Jimbo the Great. He appears again as the robot mammoth Zora in episode 81, Mystery at Amless Dam. Ronald, a robot who helped Astro Boy throughout the episode. Donald is his brother. Ronald only appeared in episode 53, Dogma Palace. In the manga, his name is G. Donald, Ronald's brother. He also helped Astro Boy throughout the episode. Donald only appeared in episode 53, Dogma Palace. In the manga, his name is P. Devil Doll, a doll who steals diamonds and brings them back to his master. He was later burned in a furnace by Astro Boy. He only appeared in episode 58, Devil Doll. Monstro, a robot who is Dr. Cranium's assistant. He was after Hemingbone Tweed when he killed his master. Monstro only appeared in episode 70, Super Brain. Humbug won a robot competitor who competes against Astro Boy. He only appeared in episode 73, The Robot Olympics. Dunder, a robot bird who destroys ships. All its profile will be revealed in episode 74, Dunder, Bird of Doom. Rocky Road, a robot who is a leader of a robot rebellion against King Horrid. Due to the cryptalization of adult audiences, the beginning of episode 80, along with Rocky were cut out of the episode. He only appeared in episode 80, Horrible King Horrid. Un, a robot musketeer who helped Astro Boy to take a shipment of serum to the space post. His brothers are Duix and Troy. Un only appeared in episode 83, The Three Robotiers. Duix, another robot musketeer who helped Astro Boy to take a shipment of serum to the space post. His brothers are Un and Troy. He only appeared in episode 83, The Three Robotiers. Troy, a third robot musketeer who helped Astro Boy to take a shipment of serum to the space post. His brothers are Un and Duix. Troy only appeared in episode 83, The Three Robotiers. Future, a robot who predicts the future. Dr. Goldthumb made him a villain to steal the gold of a rocket. So now, Future must retrieve the gold back. He only appeared in episode 87, The Great Rocket Robbery. Omgum, Alfetta's robot who only appeared in episode 88, Contest in Space. Zeo, a giant robot who only appeared in episode 89, Gift of Zeo. Stasi, a robot actor who asked Astro Girl to be his stunt girl. He only appeared in episode 93, Jungle Mystery. Victor, a good robot who is the opposite of Hector. He is an excellent engineer of the rocket ship. In the end of the episode he is really Dr. Elephant. 
He only appeared in episode 100, Menace from Mercury. Hector, an evil robot who is the opposite of Victor. He's always of both Astro Boy and Victor and dreams to be captain of the expedition to Mercury. He sacrificed his life when he destroyed the Lava People's machine. He only appeared in episode 100, Menace from Mercury. Pluto, a robot who was built by the Sultan. He was sent to kill the seven strongest robots in the world to become the world's most powerful robot. After having met Astro when he went to confront him, he began to question his actions. He told Astro that he did not want to destroy other robots, but had to do as his master wished. Later, he saved Astro and Dr. Elephant from an erupting volcano, and was last seen being destroyed by Bora. He appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. He also appears in the animated adaptations of this story, and is also a boss in the Game Boy Advance game, Astro Boy, Omega Factor. Mont Blanc, a robot mountain guide from Switzerland who is friends with Brando. While chopping wood, he met and was destroyed by Pluto. He appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. North 2 Hash a robot butler from Scotland with six arms and six weapons. He was last seen killed by Pluto before he had the chance to finish him off. North 2 Hash appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. In the 80s version of the anime, he is voiced by Hirotaka Suzuoki. He is also a boss in the Game Boy Advance game, Astro Boy, Omega Factor. Brando, a giant wrestling robot from Turkey who is friends with Mont Blanc. Although he managed to damage Pluto, he was destroyed by him. He appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. Gernad, a robot detective from Germany who is made of indestructible zirconium, which also protects him from Pluto's deadly electric horns. He was assigned to arrest Pluto, but ended up destroyed by him when he was caught on Pluto's horns. Pluto merely pulled his horns in opposite directions to rip Gernet's body in two. He appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. Hercules, a robot warrior from Greece. As an honorable warrior, he did not step down from Pluto's challenge, despite Epsilon's pleas. Hercules appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. Epsilon, a robot caretaker from Australia who is very kind to children. She is solar-powered, giving her nearly infinite power. Pluto took advantage of this and fought Epsilon during a thunderstorm, where the sun was blotted by thick clouds. Epsilon ran low on power and was eventually destroyed by Pluto. She appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. She also appears in the animated adaptations of this story, and is also a boss albeit with a more effeminate redesign in the Game Boy Advance game, Astro Boy, Omega Factor. Bora, a mysterious and extremely strong robot with 2 million horsepower. He can launch a destructive catabatic wind simply by screaming his own name. He is the robot who finally defeats Pluto, who sacrificed himself to save Astro Boy from almost certain destruction. He appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. Dr. Abula, a mysterious scientist and robot designer, and the creator of both Bora and Pluto. He later revealed himself to be a robot as well, he was a servant robot of the Sultan. 
He appeared in the manga story arc, The World's Greatest Robots. Chi Tan, a baby robot who only appeared in the Lost Manga episode, Chi Tan. Android No. 44 An android who was made by Dr. Junkovich. He is the commander of the Hot Dog Corps, and is part of a series of androids with humanoid bodies, built around the brains of dogs. Because of this, he can articulate his thoughts into human speech, but he also tends to display dog-like behaviors and tendencies at unusual times. He only appeared in the manga story arc, The Hot Dog Core. M44 A friendly robot who appeared in the manga episode, Cobalt. Muz Inokashira, a robot teacher who is a good friend of Mustachio, but was murdered by Judas Pater in front of her students. Muz Inokashira only appeared in the manga episode, The Worst Christmas Present from Mars. Zaya A, an Indian robot detective who was murdered by Roboid One Hash. He only appeared in the manga episode, Roboids. Box, another robot detective who was murdered by Roboid Two Hash. He only appeared in the manga episode, Roboids. Serrano, a French robot detective who dislike electronics and likes kids. He was murdered by Roboid 3 Hash. He only appeared in the manga episode, Roboids. Dop 00 The last robot detective who was murdered by Roboid 4 Hash. He only appeared in the manga episode, Roboids. Rabio, a robot who is in love with Rabiette and does not like fighting. He and his brothers were created by Dr. Ijio. He was last seen with Rabiette smashed in one weird-looking statue, though their hearts are still beating. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Chibolt, a robot who is Rabio's rival and Rabiette's brother. He and his brothers and sister were created by Dr. Yani. He was last seen exploded after Astro and Chibolt had their duel. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Rod, Rabio's brother who had sunglasses. He was last seen destroyed by Dr. Yani disguised as Astro. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Drill, Rabio's brother who has a drill as a nose. He was last seen destroyed by Dr. Yani disguised as Astro. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Rabiette, Chibolt's sister who has butterfly wings and is in love with Rabio. She was last seen with Rabio smashed in one weird-looking statue, though their hearts are still beating. Rabiette only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Ox, Chibolt's brother who has horns that can stretch. He was last seen destroyed by Astro. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Mosquito, Chibolt's brother who has mosquito hair. He was last seen destroyed by Astro. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Liver, Chibolt's brother who has spikes around his body. He was last seen destroyed by Astro. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiette. Topic: <laughs> Minor characters. Tobio Tenma, Toby, Dr. Tenma's son who died in a car accident, vaporized by the peacekeeper in the 2009 film. He only appears in Episode 1, Birth of Astro Boy. Tobio also appears in Episode 97, Mystery of the Metal Men. 
In the manga, his name is Tobio Tenma III. Tulip and Captain Minna, Kabe and Haas Lenkin. Tulip is the youngest daughter of Captain Minna, who was left behind due to mutiny on the first expedition to Mars. Captain Minna was a member of the first Mars expedition. She stowed away on the rocket and met Astro Boy, begging him to rescue Captain Minna. Her father is actually predicting that the Martians that lived on Mars, will invade Earth. Unfortunately, no one believed him. After the invasion was prevailed by Astro Boy, Tulip and Captain Minna decided to stay on Mars. Tulip and her father only appeared in Episode 3, Expedition to Mars. In the manga, they were siblings named Kabe and Haslenken. Tommy Speed, a boy who rides the Silver Comet. He only appears in Episode 8, Silver Comet. In the manga, his name is Koichi. Dinny and Specs, Astro Boy's friends. Specs is the boy with the glasses, and Dinny is the boy whose shirt has an S on it. They first appeared in Episode 6, Grass Boy. In the manga, their names are Shibugaki and Tamao. Lonar, a fugitive from an alien planet. He only appeared in Episode 6, Grass Boy. In the manga, his name is Violet. Louis the Lug, a man who used to be a criminal. When a meteor crashed into the rocket ship, Louis escaped along with four other passengers. He keeps an eye on Marbelle, a sweet little girl. In the end, he's a good guy and helps everyone to get back to Earth. He also helps Astro Boy when he had not much fuel left. Louis only appeared in Episode 11, Strange Voyage. In the manga, he appears as an unnamed suspect whose greed got him stuck on the moon. Marbelle, a little girl who is sweet and kind. She was kept an eye by Louis and Astro Boy. When a meteor crashed into the rocket ship, Marbelle escaped along with four other passengers. In the end, she was asking Louis where is Mr. Gibraltar and Louis said to her that Rocco wanted diamonds than return to Earth. But do not worry, Louis told Marbelle that her dad will be on Earth. She only appeared in episode 11, Strange Voyage. In the manga, she instead appears as a boy named Rock. Mona Tujor, a woman who is a socialite and a millionaire. When a meteor crashed on the rocket ship, Mona escaped with four other passengers. Mona sometimes has a habit of saying, Darling. She only appeared in episode 11, Strange Voyage. Stark Raving, a radio announcer who describes the journey on both the rocket ship and the adventure on an asteroid. When a meteor crashed on the rocket ship, Stark escaped with four other passengers. He only appeared in episode 11, Strange Voyage. He appears again as the announcer of the Robot Olympics in episode 73, The Robot Olympics. Rocco Gibraltar, an insurance boss. When a meteor crashed on the rocket ship, Rocco escaped with four other passengers. He was last seen trying to get back to the ship while he was looking for diamonds. Mr. Gibraltar only appeared in episode 11, Strange Voyage. In the manga, he instead appears as a tourist who was not left behind. Margot Poco, a woman astronaut. Years ago, she landed on the asteroid due to a magnetic storm. The rocks give way and soon she landed in Diamond Valley. Margot soon discovered that the frozen air melts by day and comes back by night. She met Chris Kinkle and gave him a present for helping her. 
After she died in a limited diet, Chris buried her to remember the woman who is his best friend. She only appeared in episode 11, Strange Voyage. Mortimer Blanca, Chancellor Hatter's assistant who is very gullible. He only appeared in episode 10, The Spirit Machine. Shylock Holmes, a detective who's also the name of disguises. He only appeared episode 12, The Artificial Sun. In the manga, his name is Sherlock Homespun. Hardy Rugged, a camper who was frozen in fear by a group of mammoth snails. He only appeared in episode 14, One Million Mammoth Snails. Jim, Hardy's friend. He was last seen killed by a group of mammoth snails. He only appeared in episode 14, One Million Mammoth Snails. General Windy Bag, a general of the army who is very tired. He first appeared in episode 14, One Million Mammoth Snails. He also appears in episode 47, The Space Crab and again as General Top Brass in episode 52, The Snow Lion. Spit Polish, General Windbag's assistant. He always end his sentence with, Sir. He only appeared in episode 14, One Million Mammoth Snails. Teddy Time, Dr. Time's son who befriends Astro Boy and Mr. Pompous. He only appeared in episode 18, The Time Machine. In the manga, he and his dad did not appear in the time machine. Snout, a wise but short-tempered man who went with Dr. Elephun, Stick Him, and Brainy to investigate the giant meteorite. He only appeared in episode 19, The Cosmic Giant. Brainy, a smart but cowardly man who went with Dr. Elephun, Stick Him, and Snout to investigate the giant meteorite. He only appeared in episode 19, The Cosmic Giant. Bim Bam Boom, a manager of a robot tournament who appeared in episode 25, The Strange Birthday Present. Tick and Tuck, the two guards who only appeared in episode 26, Dante's Infernal Machine. Zuti, a one-time gangster and Piper's brother who is now a good boy. He only appeared in episode 29, Memory Day. Piper and Zuti's mom, she's a kind woman who only appeared in episode 29, Memory Day. Piper and Zuti's dad, he's a smart man who only appeared in episode 29, Memory Day. Nipper and Tuck, two newspaper reporters who only appeared in episode 31, Mysterious Cosmic Rays. In the manga, they did not appear in The Man Who Returned from Mars. Masked Marvel, a famous wrestler who was attacked by one of the talking lizards. He only appeared in episode 34, The Beast from Twenty Phantoms, the lost episode. In the manga, he was replaced by Sabotan Sam, who played as a boxer. Scoop Maguire, a tall and skinny newspaper reporter. He, along with three other people were represented as the first people to escape from Planet X with Astro Boy. Maguire only appeared in episode 35, Planet X. Dr. Groomer, a short and fat doctor. He, along with three other people were represented as the first people to escape from Planet X with Astro Boy. Dr. Groomer only appeared in episode 35, Planet X. Flossie Pipes, a girl singer. She, along with three other people were represented as the first people to escape from Planet X with Astro Boy. Flossie Pipes only appeared in episode 35, Planet X. Corky, a little boy. 
He, along with three other people were represented as the first people to escape from Planet X with Astro Boy. Corky only appeared in Episode 35, Planet X Susie Bright Eyes, a girl astronaut. She only appeared in Episode 38, The Asteroid Menace. Copo Pixie, a boy whose dad owns a restaurant. He only appeared in episode 39, Mysterious Cat. Dingy Ding Dong, another boy who only appeared in episode 39, Mysterious Cat. Snoopy Scoop, a newspaper reporter who never fails on getting a story. But fails about Astro Boy's secret mission. He first appeared in episode 41, Deadline to Danger. He appears again in episode 48, The Great Space Horse. Momo Momo, an Eskimo from Alaska. Though he does not talk, he was kayaking when he saw a giant whale with the water bomb in his stomach. Momo Momo only appeared in episode 41, Deadline to Danger. Mo Mole, a man with a mole-like nose. He was kidnapped by Nicotine's gang after he wrote a secret code on Dr. Elephant's car windshield. Mo Mole only appeared in episode 42, Island of Mystery. Yatata, a boy who is very strong and very kind. Even though he is, he makes friends with Gavilon the Space Horse. After Gavilon and the other space horses went to find a new home, Yatata was last seen with Astro Boy going back to Earth. He only appeared in episode 48, The Great Space Horse. In the manga, his name is Acorn. Gavolan, a space horse who is friends with Yatata. He was last seen flying in space with the other horses as Yatata bids him farewell. Gavolan only appeared in episode 48, The Great Space Horse. In the manga, his name is Nuu. Heck Ben, the son of Dr. Ben who went to time travel back to the West. Heck Ben only appeared in episode 50, Westward Ha. Jimbo, a baby elephant. Astro Boy helped Jimbo to get back to his home after he destroyed an out-of-controlled robot elephant. Jimbo only appeared in episode 51, Jimbo the Great. In the manga, his name is Pora. The Pog family, a family who are fugitives from an island of slavery and dangerous tidal waves. They only appeared in episode 56, The Terrible Tidal Wave. Lieutenant Judy, a female lieutenant who helped Astro Boy. She only appeared in episode 57, The Viking King, a.k.a. Vikings. Bemo, an alien who is a fugitive from the planet Noriko. He disguised himself as a baker, so he could get away from three scientists from his planet. He was last seen blown up with a fridge bomb on the sun. He only appeared in episode 62, Attack from Space. In the manga, his name is Bem. Kipo, the last Inca priest. All his profile will be revealed in episode 66, Inca Gold Fever. Minute a small animal whom Dr. Elephant and Astro Boy befriends too. It has the ability to oversee the future calamities and disasters of the world. The Minute only appeared in episode 71, A Mighty Minute. Finney, the son of the Dolphin King whom Dr. Heel kidnapped. He only appeared in episode 75, Dolphins in Distress. Toby Toggle, an engineer who helped Cal E. Brait to build a moving beltway. He only appeared in episode 76, The Mad Beltway. 
Maria, Cal's sister who disappeared during one of the Beltway accidents. She only appeared in episode 76, The Mad Beltway. Luna Luna, a princess from outer space and the victim of villainous villainous scheme. She only appeared in episode 78, The Space Princess. Dodo, Luna Luna's brother. He only appeared in episode 78, The Space Princess. Mo Trouble, though he did not get his part as Jetto, he actually made a few appearances as Monk in episode 2, as Zuti in episode 29, as a puppet in episode 58, and others. This wannabe main character first appeared in episode 2, Colosso. In Japan, he is named Kentaro. Angelica, Dr. Musa's granddaughter. After her parents were killed by Mr. Vile, Angelica's granddad avoided contact with robots. She only appeared in episode 85, Angel of the Alps. Alfetta, a contestant from Saturn. All her profile will be revealed in episode 88, Contest in Space. Mr. Scrap, a thief and an expert mechanic. While on the run from the police, Mr. Scrap encountered Astro Boy and the two were sent to space to the planet Rowan. He is last seen giving himself up to the police. He only appeared in episode 88, Contest in Space. Columbu, a miniature explorer from Terra Firma who kidnapped Jetto. He enlisted Jetto to fight against the nation of Poi Poi. He was last seen making peace with Stormy Knight. He only appeared in episode 90, A Deep Deep Secret. Queen Ichi Bella, Queen of Terra Firma. She was last seen making peace with the Green Queen. She only appeared in episode 90, A Deep Deep Secret. Prince Priceless, a prankster who escaped to a parallel world. He was last seen waving goodbye to the other people from the parallel world at the airport. He only appeared in episode 92, Uncharted World. Reba, a 30,000-year-old jungle queen who accidentally kidnapped Astro Girl, thinking that it was Stasi. She only appeared in episode 93, Jungle Mystery. Pero, Mr. Mustachio's pet dog. He only appeared in the manga episode, The Hot Dog Core. Tommy Mafitso's young brother who only appeared in the manga episode, Gademu. Detective Getter, a detective who was murdered by Judas Pater. He only appeared in the manga episode, The Worst x mas Present from Mars. Lolo, a roboid who does not appear to be mean. His dad hated robots while his mom is kind. He and his mom were last seen in a rocket ship while his dad battled with Astro Boy. He only appeared in the manga episode, Roboids. Grand Master, a Grand Master of Japan who was his own young self by the youth gas. He only appeared in the manga episode, Young Man's Gas. Bean Cake Daifuku, all his description will be revealed in the manga episode, Attack of the Astro Boy Balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists Dr. I.C. Snow, a scientist who was the first being to be frozen for 100 years. He invented both the crab robots and the sphinx to protect his machines from bandits. Dr. Snow only appeared in episode 4, The Sphinx. Dr. I. M. Sinister, a one-time prisoner who escaped from Sing Song prison along with his henchmen Red and Mouse. He was the guy who invented the transformation robot Bobo. 
He only appeared in Episode 5, Cross Island. In the manga, his name is Dr. Tozua, and his henchmen are Hameg and Lamp. Dr. Isaac Nutting, a scientist who invented Zero, the invisible robot. He only appeared in Episode 7, Zero, the invisible robot. Professor Ludwig von Holstein, a scientist who invented the ghost machine. He only appeared in Episode 10, the spirit machine. In the manga, his name is Pablos, who happened to be Platinum's creator. Dr. Leopold, a scientist who helped Dr. Elephant building the artificial sun. Dr. Leopold died due to a brain damage. He only appeared in episode 12, The Artificial Sun. Dr. Tic-Tac-Toe, a scientist who invented both Rainbow and Ladybug. He only appeared in episode 13, The Deep Freeze. Professor Nutty Fruitcake, a scientist who is a biologist. His robot servant is Piloton. Professor Fruitcake was last seen out cold by the mammoth snails. He only appeared in episode 14, One Million Mammoth Snails. Dr. Bolt, an astronaut whose brain was held captive by Toxor. He only appeared in episode 20, Toxor the Mist Man. Dr. Cool, a scientist who hates both people and robots. He was last seen killed by one of the poisonous houseflies. Dr. Cool only appeared in episode 23, The Deadly Flies. Professor Tutu, a scientist who develops a duplication process which he uses to create twin androids. The process apparently works on biological creatures, as he also managed to clone his dog. Real name Nitwit Nutty, Tutu comes across as a rather sinister figure, particularly during the scenes where he experiments on a deactivated Astro Girl. Professor Tutu only appeared in episode 25, The Strange Birthday Present. In the manga, his name is Dr. Excess. Dr. Henry Geiger, a scientist who used to be Dr. Dorian's partner years ago. He was last seen out cold after Dr. Dorian knocked him to the ground and escaped. Dr. Geiger only appeared in episode 31, Mysterious Cosmic Rays. Professor Natsu, a scientist who invented the elixir of life. He was kidnapped by Novocaine to hand over the elixir of life. Astro Boy and Natsu switch the elixir of life with castorol oil. Professor Natsu only appeared in episode 36, Elixir of Life. Dr. Alpha, a one-time prisoner who is a scientist and was volunteered to go with Astro Boy, Dr. Elefun and Susie to save planet Earth from Medusa along with Dr. Beta and Dr. Gamma. He only appeared in episode 38, Asteroid Menace. Dr. Beta, another one-time prisoner who is a big, muscle man scientist and was volunteered to go with Astro Boy, Dr. Elephant and Susie to save planet Earth from Medusa along with Dr. Alpha and Dr. Gamma. He only appeared in episode 38, Asteroid Menace. Dr. Gamma, a third one-time prisoner who is a short, three-haired scientist and was volunteered to go with Astro Boy, Dr. Elefun and Susie to save planet Earth from Medusa along with Dr. Alpha and Dr. Beta. Secretly, he's very shy when he meets a girl. Dr. Gamma only appeared in episode 38, Asteroid Menace. Professor Greenthumb a scientist who is an animal. When the construction did not stop, he built a mind-controlling machine to make the animals turn the tables at the people. His pet is a red cat named Mimi. 
He was last seen lying in bed with Mimi. He only appeared in episode 39, Mysterious Cat. In the manga, his name is Professor Fellini. Professor Iki Ichabod, a scientist who has the ability to translate every language like Astro Boy. Ichabod has a huge wig under his tiny white hair. In the end, Ichabod learned his lesson after he became too greedy to become ruler of the universe. He only appeared in episode 42, Island of Mystery. Dr. Mamini Mum, a scientist who is the last of the Bulabu people. He wrote a message on a stone after the Bulabus were suddenly attacked by their enemies the Escordians. Dr. Mum was last seen walking away after he wrote the messages on the Bulabu statues. He only appeared in episode 42, Isle of Mystery. Dr. Snorkel, a scientist who used to be a villain. In the end, he compromised with Rokar to be partners again. Dr. Snorkel only appeared in episode 49 to 3D TV. In the manga, his name is Dr. Woods. Rokar, Dr. Snorkel's partner. He only appeared in episode 49 to 3D TV. In the manga, his name is Hanabusa, who now appeared as a half-robot, half-human, half-robot, and half-fish person. Dr. Ben, a scientist whose son went back time-traveling. He called Astro Boy, Dr. Elephant, and Mr. Pompous into getting his son back. Dr. Ben only appeared in episode 50, Westward Ha. Dr. Eubank, a biologist who asked Astro Boy to retrieve the rare galaxia. His assistant is Dr. Pollen. He only appeared in episode 61, The Flower Monster. Dr. Buck, a scientist who kidnapped Astro Girl when he thought was his daughter Kima. He only appeared in episode 64, Big Titan. Dr. Gustav Usurper, a scientist who went to Mexico with Dr. Ella Fun and Astro Boy. He was last seen surrounded by gold and became full of greed. He only appeared in episode 66, Inca Gold Fever. Dr. Numskull Cranium, a brain surgeon who was killed Hemingbone Tweed. He is last seen as a robot performing surgery. He only appeared in episode 70, Super Brain. Dr. Blinken, a scientist who invented the dream machine for Astro Boy and Astro Girl to give them dreams. He only appeared in episode 72, The Dream Machine. Professor Bonbon, a French professor who invented the robots Un, Duix, and Troy inspired by his favorite heroes the Three Musketeers. He only appeared in episode 83, The Three Robotiers. Dr. Angus Muse, a scientist makes no contact with robots. His granddaughter is Angelica. Angelica's parents were killed by Mr. Vile. He only appeared in episode 85, Angel of the Alps. Dr. Figaro Newton, a scientist who had developed plans for the greatest robot factory. His arch-rival is Dr. Gabritol. He only appeared in episode 86, The Magic Punch Card. Dr. Quad, a prissy scientist who went with Astro Boy and Mr. Pompous to Halava. In the end, he changed his prissy ways and became a representative of Halava. He only appeared in episode 101, Dangerous Mission. Bobka, a boy scientist who is an orphan and rebelled against Armud. He went with Dr. Quad, Mr. Pompous and Astro Boy on a mission to bring peace in Halava. He is last seen with 100 silly-looking robots bidding farewell to the three. 
He only appeared in episode 101, Dangerous Mission. Hofuma, a scientist from the country of Fedora on the moon. Although he was not seen, but here is his story. I am Hofuma, the last scientist of Fedora which is now being destroyed. Fedora is the underground city of beauty until there is great destruction because of diamonds. Diamonds are our energy supply and our currency. We all later knew that thanks to the meteors, our country began to crumble. I must warn you, the diamonds are cursed and are protected by our robot giant. This recording represents my last day on the moon and our last day on Fedora, so I afraid you must." Hofuma only appeared in the manga episode, The Hot Dog Core. Dr. Brumble, a scientist who repaired Astro Boy. He only appeared in the manga version of Ditto. Professor Uro, the last of the Martians who only appeared in the manga episode, The Worst Christmas Present from Mars. Hatozume, a scientist who invented the youth gas. He only appeared in the manga episode, Young Man's Gas. Dr. Ornery Ijio, a scientist who is a rival of Dr. Yani. He created Rabio, Drill, and Rod. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiet. Dr. Ono Yani, Dr. Igio's rival. He created Liver, Ox, Mosquito, Chibolt and Rabiet. He only appeared in the manga episode, Rabio and Rabiet. Notes and references <laughs> <laughs>